Alright guys, what is up? It's your boy R. Dykes here coming at you with another mini scheme for the Minnesota Run Heavy scheme that I've created. Like I said guys, a couple people, you've seen a couple of the other mini schemes that should be attached to this on MaddenTips.com with the actual scheme as well. Um, as you guys might know, I am actually putting up my site actually probably in the next two to three days. Uh, I will let you guys know once it is up, but a couple people ran into some issues for the third and long situations there like oh Ryan I don't want to uh, Stay in my run formations and throw the ball out of it I want to have maybe a little bit better passing formation So I went ahead and showed you guys the single back bunch, which is really nice I showed you guys the strong close for one other person who preferred to run the strong close better But this is what I want to go over a lot of people I don't think I know about the trips tied in this year So we're gonna go over a, a trips tied in mini scheme now there's a couple ways to run this mini scheme, guys. If you'd rather run the ball, we are gonna go ahead and uh, maybe put the counter there. But if this is, if you know this is gonna be your pass-heavy formation, guys, you're gonna come out in your base play for this, which is gonna be the halfback wheel, and you're gonna put the defense once again in man coverage to start this out. As you guys look at the play, you see that the guy has got a zip. Uh, I don't know what you call it. It's called a inverted post by square. You've got the wheel route by triangle. A drag by circle and then the out route by X. So what you're going to actually do is you're going to fade X. You're going to go ahead and zig circle and you're going to go ahead and slant uh, square. So what, the first read you're going to want to make, guys, is always your tight end. Now your tight end has that fade route, guys, as you guys can see. Uh, he swatted me, but we'll go ahead and run this one more time. That way you guys get a better understanding. Uh, go ahead and actually, you know what, guys? We're going to run this a little bit differently than what I said. We're going to go ahead and just zig Oh, and we're going to actually just fade X. So we're going to leave uh, square on that just just for purposes of later on in the video when I show you how to be zone. We're going to actually want that there. So let's just go ahead and do that. And then throw X, pass lead to inside. As you guys know, when linebackers, when they have a tight end on a fade this year, they just don't really cover this year. So your first read, as always, is going to be your tight end on the fade. He never gets there. Just I mean, unless you have a Pat Willis or a Bobby Wagner or someone with speed, a lot of the times, guys, they don't, they don't really play that that too well. Now, that's your first read. Now, your second read, guys, is going to be this wheel route. Now, if you see the guy's not getting there in time, go ahead and throw that and get a couple 10 yards, 15 yards. Uh, there's a couple ways to do it. Once again, just just uh, zig circle or zig zero, whatever you want to call it. Fade X, R1 is your second read. Just throw it. R1 is your second one. Throw it up field. Get, a, get some yards. That's always a nice little play. And then, like I said, your third read is going to be your zig route. And we're going to go ahead and look at it. Since it's on the left side, guys, they can't press. Go ahead and get about 10 yards, which is really nice. That's always there. Uh, once again, let's go ahead and look at it one more time. Zig route. They can't press you. That's good yardage. Now, the best, the best route on this formation is actually your fourth read, guys, which is the wheel route. But the thing about it is, is it takes so long to develop that that the reason I call it the fourth route now uh, the wheel routes are really well put together this year but what you're gonna see guys is in this formation is people are gonna be running coverage defense against you which is uh, where everyone is rushing back only one guy's rushing at you and that's when you're gonna want to use utilize that wheel route now with the pass route it's a, it's a little bit harder as you guys can see the pass route starts to get in and the quarterback makes a bad throw now with the coverage D that's where you're gonna get them. They're gonna they're gonna start covering up everything else. But this is your fourth r route. I wish I, I should probably put my other controller on to show you the coverage. Do what I'm talking about. Um, let me see this one more time. Let's see if we can get this pass off. But this is gonna be your fourth read, guys. Like I said, your other two reads. You're gonna pass lead to inside. There we go. And that's gonna be how you're gonna do it. You're gonna always want to pass lead to inside. And pretty much once you see that guy get get off of the screen where you can't see him so right at about there you're gonna want to pass lead to inside usually you want to have a good receiver there because you want them to be able to actually be able to, to uh speed on and grab that so that's your fourth read guys like i said there's there's more than one or two reads out of just this play this is a really really good formation this year i don't know why nobody's running it um as you guys can see it's right there there you go get that nice little pass lead inside pretty much uh I think this is probably one of the better formations in the game, especially on PS3. Once we get into the later on in the video, people are not going to be able to do press your out route on the left. You're going to have three unpressable. You're actually – nobody can get pressed in this formation, guys. You've got a tight end. You've got three receivers on the left. This is the – I don't know. I think this is one of the best formations in the game. Um, I'm actually pretty tempted to actually 
uh, start running Minnesota's book again. Uh, so we will see. Might have to go through a little bit more today to actually maybe make this my actual main scheme. Utilize this a little bit more. So what we're going to do here is your next play is a lot of people might have been like, wow. Well, guess what, fellas? The outside slant is back. I don't know if anybody knows about it. I know Gibbs and Farrells and a lot of the higher end guys, they know about it. Uh, but yes, there is an outside slant. So what you're going to do here, guys, is you are going to put your square route on the out route. You are going to go ahead and put uh your triangle route on the zig route like i said that's probably the two best things you could do is put a zig route and out route on the left side two best combo in the game then you have an another outside slant and you're going to have your streak here and what you're going to do your first read is always the outside slant that is a huge play guys that is hard to stop that is a tough thing to stop guys once again your quick pass audible go ahead and out route smart routes uh square go ahead and zig triangle Go ahead and fade circle and go ahead and wheel route R1. Once again, motion him. Get him a little bit inside. It Outside slants your first read. You can pass lead it up to try to get more. Uh, I know a lot of people are doing uh, what I was doing. And I know about two of my friends that I showed this to, what they were doing is they were actually putting a receiver at the tight end spot. Uh, you can do whatever. I just like to just, I mean, just leave it whatever. It doesn't bother me. The thing is... With that, is a lot of people are going to key in on that tight end position if you put a wide receiver there. I prefer just keeping the tight end there. Uh, if you use the Niners, Seattle, uh, I'm trying to think of Tennessee, teams with fast tight ends, guys, I mean, that's that's what you need. Uh, New England as well. So, once again, this is going to be your second play. That's, I mean, that, guys, right there, you can probably beat half the people online with just this play. Uh, I mean, look at look at the routes you have, guys. You guys already have the best two combo route in the game, the zig route, the out route, this fade route motion, and then you have an outside slant and a and a wheel route by the running back. I mean, that is just a a really tough thing to stop, guys. So that's just getting into that more. This is gonna be a pretty long video because of all the stuff that there's there. Once again, guys, uh, let's go ahead and show you the second read, which is actually gonna be your out route in this formation. Once again, and then boom, have your out route. Hopefully your receiver makes a play right there. Janoris Jenkins uh, is just tearing it up today. Uh, the, other, the other videos I was making, he was tearing me apart just every time. I haven't been able to catch out routes on the left today because of him. Once again, throw the out route. There it is. Sidney Rice makes a play. That's your second read. Pretty much I don't have to explain too much about the out routes. A lot of you guys know if you're watching on Madden Tips, you know Gibbs and Farrell schemes. Uh, they love the out routes this year, especially Farrells. And then once again, we are going to go ahead and show you this third read, which is going to be actually the zig route. There's no press guy, so he's going to get open a lot. Five or six yards. Nice little pass. He breaks tackles, gets makes it a 15-yard game, which should be a five or six. Uh, once again, go into your quick pass. Out route him, zig. Put O on a fade. Uh, wow. Wheel route your running back. And then go ahead and motion again. Look at your zig route, and then boom. That's a 10-yard gain because there's no press there, guys, so it's hard to stop. So this play, like I said, guys, just seeing from these these two plays I showed you, I mean, you guys can see this is a really tough formation, especially on the PS3. And then finally, as your fourth read, which is a lot of times this is people's first reads in the spread formation, is this, this uh, fade route, and then you pass lead it inside there. Um, I suggest getting a fast guy as that, which I have Butler... And then that's pretty much uh, it for that play. And then the fourth play you guys are going to want to utilize for man is the play action. Uh, there's a couple different routes you, you can use. Once again, go ahead and put um, triangle on the zig route. Actually, let's go ahead and put a circle on the zig route. Let's fade triangle. Let's leave square on a drag route. Wheel route your running back. Your first read, again, is going to be your tight end on the post. Pass lead it right, make that play. Uh, show it to you one more time. I want to kind of keep these videos short. I've been making really long videos today. Once again, again, that's your first read. Throw it, pass lead it outside, get about 20 yards. It's a good play. And then we'll go back to this again. Your play action pass. You have your zig route. Go ahead and actually, yeah. Uh, let's go ahead and fade circle. Let's make this the same way as we did, guys as the other one so i'm sorry about that in the beginning let's go ahead and do this again motion him again once again there's your first read there you go um 
And then one more time, we're going to go with this play again. We're going to zig, fade, wheel route, and then once again, that's your first read. Your second read again is going to be your zig route because there's no press. Get a lot of separation. That's a 15-yard gain. So once again, you guys can see the, the zig route is your second read. Um, I know from a lot of you guys, from what you're seeing already, you're like, wow, there's just too much to stop on this formation on your right. There's too much to stop on this formation. Uh, it's the best formation I think I've seen in the game other than, I would say, uh, flip trips. Maybe there's the Jets tight formation is, I think, pretty good. And then there's some other formations which I don't really want to release. <laughs> so uh, once again, your second read your zig route. It's there, throw it, and then you have your drag route and you have your fade route, which you don't really have to utilize, guys. There's going to be too many other things uh, for them to stop. It's going to be hard for them to stop that, the post and the zig route as it is. So the last thing you, you can go ahead and do, just for a uh, quick thing to say, you can go ahead and just hit again, get some yards, get upfield, and that's your third read. Uh, let's go ahead and continue on with the zone portion of this. I want to try to keep this under 18 minutes for all my videos because I have two portions of each video. So thanks, guys.